Today we're gonna be installing this GGB mountain can on this 2022 Freeride 850 146. Now Brandon went with the GGB mountain can for his 2022 Freeride 850. Reason being GGB is tried and true. Anyone you ask who's running a can, majority of them will say GGB. And quite honestly, we think GGB is the best sounding can for snowmobiles. So GGB offers three types of cans for this sled right here. Number one would be the quiet can. The quiet can has a different tone at idle, but in the top end and mid range, it sounds pretty similar to stock and it will save you about six pounds. Next step up a little bit louder would be the trail can. The trail can saves you about nine pounds of weight and it has a deeper tone at idle and a lot deeper throw to your tone in the mid range and top end. And what we're installing today is the mountain can which is the third option for this sled. The mountain can saves over 10 pounds of weight and it is the loudest of the bunch. It is only intended for off-road use. As you know, everything that me and Brandon own is loud. We always run the loudest setup we can get. Like I said earlier, we don't deal with skidoos. This is literally our first skidoo on the channel. So we have a learning curve here with installing parts. First things first, I know we're gonna have to remove this instrument cluster, get the hood off, and get both side panels off to get to this exhaust. But but before we do all that, we need a stock sound test. Now it's time to make this thing loud. This piece is literally what they were waiting on. <laughs> yeah, this piece is what made it delays. Okay, so it's loose now. I just well, like there's two more. Oh my god, it's like twelve now. That should just lift off. Oh, if you lift it off, <laughs> it breaks it. <laughs> Dude, this is embarrassing. It is. First time, first time. Yeah, first time messing with the skidoo, no big deal. There it is. Maybe. Here, wait, I bet you down here is clipped in too, like up there. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Why is this so hard? There. No. Here. No, this one went back. There you go. <laughs> Just your typical YouTube mechanics. What the heck? <laughs> Good luck getting this thing back on. <laughs> there. Dude, it's still stuck. It's not clipped though. <laughs> Oh, I thought you lost the wiring harness. Oh, God. Why are you stuck? Buddy buys a brand new sled, doesn't know how to work on it. It's this air filter, air box. Tell me about it. There it is. <laughs> Smashes it on the ground. <laughs> oh. Wait, there's actually a lot more room in these than I thought. I thought it was more compact than this. Easiest part of the process. <laughs> Just wait till we get the hood back on. <laughs> All of that, and this is how they hold this thing together. <laughs> Dude, they did the most on the hood, and then they use these two band clips. Yeah, this ain't even gonna. It's not even. It's like a. <laughs> and then what is this? There's just a 10 mil down here. You got two springs and EGT sensor. But he doesn't even have the proper tools to do the job. Oh, oh my God. 
I do have a spring puller. I know. I do too. I don't know where it's at. Oh, that's ghetto. Oh, yeah. For anyone that asks why we don't do install videos, <laughs> this is why, because we don't know what we're doing. But if you guys like watching us struggle, we'll do more. Yes. What's the weight on that thing? It's up there. <laughs> Dude, this, honestly, this has to be 25 pounds. Basically, to get to the exhaust, we had to remove 14 of these bolts and pretty much remove the whole hood, both side panels. This is a complete mission compared to doing it on a Polaris, where Polaris is just a few clips and you can take the side panels and the hood off. We got the EGT partially on. We put the 10 millimeter bolt in. Now it is time to put the springs on. And then we need to tighten down the EGT, relocate the clip for it and put all the panels back on and then it is time to see what this thing sounds like oh dude come on i see it <laughs> come on buddy you're almost there yeah yeah let's go right there sweet tighten that up relocate the egt panels and we are good the ggb mounted up both springs rerouted the egt behind this spring the 10 mil with the spring clipped in here all tightened down everything is locked in and ready to go I'm gonna put the hood on and we are gonna get our first sound test of this thing that's a bit right that's a deal right that's a deal right we finally got the hood installed all the bolts are in everything is tied down everything's plugged back in it is finally time to see what the ggb mountain can sounds like on the free ride 850. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so loud. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. My hands are cold. Oh, my hands are freezing. Right. Hey, it doesn't let the skis down. The ice got me. It got you, I think. Yeah, it got me squirrely. Yeah. Dude, look at my tray. It doesn't let the skis down. <laughs> ah, I hope the chaos is like this. So yeah, this sled sounds absolutely insane with the GGB. Mountain can has such a deep tone. It barks and it just absolutely screams. I'm sure we pissed off the neighbors. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comments below, let me know what you think of the GGB Mountain Can on the Free Ride 850. And like I always say, if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not ready to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go. I